hello hello everyone i hope everyone is doing um <clears throat> sorry doing great and doing good i hope you had a wonderful uh, month a wonderful week um i wanted to come on here and give you some news um i was going to do a live and just come on live and talk to you guys um but uh i didn't um i just i i I couldn't feel my nerve to do so. I'm still going through some stuff. I've been going through a lot of stuff this month. I know you just haven't seen me post a lot um, in chats or in, in here on uh, on YouTube or anybody who's following me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. I know you just haven't seen me post neither on that neither. Um, the reason there's a reason why I haven't been posting um, and as you can see by expression on my face it's not a good news so um, I want to come on here and tell you because a lot of you has been following me for a very long time and you all I want to say all I want to say all of you because he's all but like the older my my older uh, followers and subscribers and family members like I call you um, have became part of my family and um and you said became a part of us right um so it's only fair to share with you guys why i haven't been on for a while um a lot of you may know and i want to thank everybody who's reached out to me and um and 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 share their love with me um their concern for me and I appreciate everyone who's have reached out to me through Instagram, through Facebook, you know, through text, through email, through, through phone calls. Um, you don't know how much it made me feel. But last week, <clears throat> this week that just passed, um, I, I, I have been off for a while. I haven't been making any videos or anything for a while. Because uh, there's a tragedy that happened in our family, um, our matriarch of our family. Um, as you know, a lot of you know, I um, am a mom's nurse, right? And I've been taking care of my mom for a long time, long, long time. And she's been up, and she's been down, and she's been up, and she's been down, right? And she's been down here for a while. And then, boop, she pop up like a jack in the box, right? She's like, oh, I'm here. Um, well, on, uh, I wanted to tell you guys and inform you that on Monday, March 15th, 9.45 in the morning, my mother has passed on. Um, it's still hard for me. My mother was my everything. As everybody knows, my mother was the light of my eyes, the light of my soul. She died at 9.45 in the morning. Um, let me see, on the 14th, 15th to 12th. So, on Thursday the 13th, she wasn't feeling good. Um, you know, I, I, I do everything I can. I, I do everything, medicines, medic medical, everything, everything, everything that is to do my mother, I do it. Um, and I came in the night, and right by nose, I worked the night shift. And she said, Fritzy, I don't feel good. I said, what's the matter? Is it something hurt, Mom? And she said, I said, there's something hurt. I can give you the payments. What's going on? She said, no. But she's been telling me days before so the reason why I haven't really been posting because my mom's been my mom's been ill in six weeks in advance um I just have been like not posted I have not came on YouTube I have not came on Instagram or anything I just been focusing on my mother taking care of her and um I knew she was going on on the Wednesday which was the 12th right no 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 yeah no Hold on, 15 to 14, 13, 12, 
11th on Thursday, so the 10th would be on Wednesday. And um, I'm sorry, I'm I'm just I'm trying to get her my dates here. And um, she said, Fritzy, hold my hand with me. I held her hand. She said, When you pray with me, I feel that like my body's changing. And I said, Yeah, mom, you know how you know we always how we do, you know, we always pray. We sat with their long prayer, long prayer. And um, I said, Mama, you feeling okay? She said, Not really. She said, I feel like God's moving. I said, What do you mean? I knew my head, but my heart didn't want to accept it. And uh, in my head, I said, Dear God, is it my mom's time? And she said, I want to thank you for all your sacrifices. For all your sacrifice. For everything you've done. Going out your way. Doing all your stuff medically. Coming up with medicines and everything. Just to make me feel better. Just to make my sickness somehow disappear. And I told her, Mommy, it's not a sacrifice. It's an honor. It's an honor to do what I do for you. It's an honor. It was such an honor to take care of my mom every day. I couldn't. It's not a sacrifice. I said, Mommy, it's not a sacrifice. I didn't sacrifice not one thing. It was an honor because I was able to take care of you and take care of you to the fullest. And I told you, when you got sick and when you got in hospice, then I will take care of you from the day you got on hospital to the day you take your last breath on this earth. I will be there and I'll make sure of it. I will never leave you. I will honor you. And I did exactly that and I did it with honor and respect and dignity because this queen deserved everything that and much more. She deserved more than that. But I did it because I'm on here because one thing she told me to tell you guys that thank you because you always put a smile on her face every time I made a video with her, right? She said, tell your friends. I said, thank you. And thank you for taking the time out to love a little old lady like me. And I said, mommy, I'll tell them. But what are you saying? And she kept saying, it's whatever God chooses. But I want to tell you that I love you. You're an awesome daughter. And then she said, have you opened up the bracelet I gave you for Christmas? And I said, no, I didn't even get to open it yet. Um, I mean, I said, I got to see. Of course, I opened it. Mom, you saw when I see him. I opened it. I just didn't get to wear it yet. She says, well, you should wear it soon. I would like to see you with it on. I said, okay. Friday. My sister calls me at 6 o'clock in the morning and says, Something's wrong with mom. She haven't got up all night. And I'm trying to shake her. She's breathing, but it's very it's panting. And I told my sister, We got to get ready, Denise. It's about our time. She said goodbye to me on Thursday night. And, uh, Wednesday to Thursday, and then, then Thursday. And I told her Thursday morning, Mom, I'm gonna see you later on tonight, okay? I promise. And she said, God willing. She always says, God willing. God willing, you'll see me tomorrow. And I said, Mommy, don't say that. You know, I don't like when you say that. She says, well, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting there. You don't know what God has planned. But you know, I love you. And she gave me a big hug. And I hugged her back. Not knowing that that kiss that I gave her and that hug that I gave her was going to be the last one she felt. Friday, she come and she knew who I was. I said, Mom, do you know who I am? She says, yeah, Fritzy. And I said, can you see me? She says, I can't see you, but I can feel you. And I said, Mom, I want you to relax. 
I'm going to give you as much medicine I can to make you comfortable. I know it's hard for my other siblings to accept the fact that mommy was gone, but we had to accept the fact that she was gone. And um, that was Friday. Uh, Saturday, I think we heard her talk for last time. Sunday, not much talking. Uh, Sunday night into Monday out of work, and I watched Monitor the all night. And I called my brother and sister. I said, Mom, maybe only has a couple hours. I left at 5 o'clock in the morning to take, make sure to kick the kids off to school and all that. I get a phone call from um, my aide, which is a girl I have her work in my day shifts for me. And uh, she said, Mommy passed at 945. So that was Monday the 15th. I just want to tell you that thank you so much for making my mom laugh, for loving her, or everyone who sent her Christmas gifts last year. Um, and the year before, that was her last Christmas. Um, all the gifts you sent her for her birthday and everything. And it made her so happy. And I want to thank you guys for that. I'm going to try to do a live tonight um, after the kids go to bed. Just to make sure it's, you know, I don't want the kids, you know, in, in a live. If you have any questions you want me, you want to ask me about my mother. If you want to talk to me, just, just to talk to me, just sit and talk to me about... <laughs> I'm sorry about my mother, and um, and we can sit and talk about her, about her last days, how it was, was she happy, anything, anything you want to ask me, um, I'll probably do it live tonight. I won't guarantee it, but I'm going to do my best to do the live tonight, so that um, you can talk to me, We can you can ask me questions, but I wanted to tell you that my mom has passed on as the 15th of this month. Her birthday was on March 8th, it was Monday, she was still getting sick, she was still sick. Um, March 12th, she went out. She haven't got up, and March 15th, she passed on. Sorry, I had to stop this for a minute because I was ordering food. Um, I have not been feeling my best lately. I have been very sick. Um, There's another reason why I haven't posted or made any videos. Um, I have been very sick. I have not been feeling myself. I've been very, very sick. Um, I also have not been very eating, which I know it's bad. I know I'm a nurse. I know it's bad, um, but I just can't bring myself to eat. Um, oh, back to the bracelet. Um, so, till her past, I went and opened the box, and I've been wearing it ever since her funeral. <clears throat> and the bracelet, um, it says, a daughter's love a daughter's wait hold on a daughter like you is precious and few and a daughter like you is like no other a daughter's love like you is like no other so this is bracelet and I've been wearing it since I haven't took it off um oh my god I think I've been taking it the hardest out of all my brothers and sisters um because I've been there day in, day out, day in, day out, over time, over time. I was there, 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 every day, every day, every day. It was just with her. And she she has became my routine. She has became me. Or I became her, you know. So it's 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 hard. I, I am struggling a lot. I am like not feeling good. I do go through my God, my crying spells are like off the the radar. I've been very sick. I know everybody keeps telling me, you know, you gotta mom won't want you to be like that. You gotta take it easy, you gotta be, relax. But I can't find it in me to do so. I'm trying very hard. But when you work with somebody and you're with somebody every day and that person is you, it's my mother is me. I'm my mother. She like lives in me. So it's like it's hard. But I'm trying to get through and I, and I need your help. And that's what I'm trying to do a live. Maybe we can talk and maybe I can feel better or something. Um, I'm going to put you some polls. I got to pay for my food. Just give me a second. Okay, I haven't ate. Um, I don't feel like cooking. I just dropped at Wendy's to get a four for four for all the kids. It's the cheapest thing, right? It's cheaper than McDonald's and all that. And McDonald's, I don't know how even, what even talk about their food. Um, I haven't eaten McDonald's so long, and I don't want to just mess it up my stomach. Um, but, um, you know, I got me something, like a fry or something for me, so I can eat, you know. I could eat something because I haven't had nothing in my stomach 
and I so far has ate jello the last three days and I've been throwing it up as I'm not feeling well. So, um, and that is my thing. I have not um, been eating. I've been very sick. This is the first thing I'm eating in like a week, in two weeks. Um, I don't know if you noticed I lost weight too. My sisters noticed it the other day and they were like, Fritz, you're losing too much weight too fast. So, um, this is me. Um, I was just coming to share with you guys because mom has been a part of your guys' life too that she's passed on. She's no longer with us, but if you would like to send any gifts or anything to me, um, my, uh, you know, my, my P.O. box, another will be in the link in the, in the video, in this video. Also, we have a GoFundMe. We owe, like, I think, we owe about $5,000 more. Um, it's what we could not pay it all before, but we trying to get the money together. We do have a, a GoFundMe for it. I'm going to link that, that link in the um, description box of this video if you want to donate anything to help with my mom's funeral costs. It's, um, it's about 5000 It was like 17000 but we paid almost all of us. We only got like 5000 left. So five or 4000 um, I'll have to recheck. But um, I'm going to leave the the uh, GoFundMe link in the in the description box. So if you'd like to go and donate and help our family donate to the cause of my mother's um, uh, burial and all her funeral expenses, um, you can donate there at our GoFundMe. But I'll see you later on tonight. I'm on my way home. I want to give the kids food, and I got some things I gotta do. I gotta go um, do some things around the house. I gotta take care of like empty trash for trash night and everything. So it's 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 a little hectic, but um, I'm gonna talk to you later on tonight. God willing, I'm gonna come in for a live, and I'll talk to you tonight. On that note, mucho bendiciones, lots and lots and lots of blessings. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for the ones who've been there. Thank you for everything. I love you very much, and I see you on my video tonight on my live. If I ever go live, um, I love you guys so much. God bless all of you. I love you. Bye. See you on the next video.